All right, welcome back. Welcome back to your 2024 uh, Mid-Atlantic Major here in Atlantic City. I'm here with Mike. Mike, want to introduce yourself to the What's crowd? What's going on, guys? My name is Mike from Enemy of the State. Uh, we're a streetwear brand, and we're here in our hometown to watch Leverage go up against it with uh, some other <laughs> heater teams, but I'm excited to be here. Thanks Mike for is with me, Enemy man. of the State. If you'd like to visit their booth, don't bother. There's no product left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a we have a small selection of items left. We got our guns that got released, our CS3s, but let's get into it. All right, here we go. Chicago Distortion versus Smoke. Smoke's going to be on your right. Distortion on your left. I have five clean alive over here for Chicago Distortion. Same as well, right? Into, oh, no, they lost one off, this, uh, off the Smoke side. Sitting at the entry snake. Have people been using the highway a lot? Uh, the, uh, it comes inside? in. It comes in and out. Uh, when it does, it's mostly a, a, a grand slam of a play. Yeah. Teams are getting a little bit smarter about shutting down that that sneaky crawl. All right, distortion up five four. Game settled down a little bit. I don't see any secondary bumps from Smoke. It seems like they've dug in their heels. There we go. Smoke snake player is looking like he's trying to make the move, and there he goes. Is he gonna get your feet? Yeah. The, uh, yeah, the there he brick is. guy on the on distortion is looking D side. I don't see him that too much in the last few points, so I'm curious if he's able to lock him down. All right, Chicago Distortion have taking that brick in the middle. Not much action on the snake, though. Right now, the, the advantage is to smoke in the snake. Snake is not like this insta-kill thing that just destroys everything in the field. No, but, no. But you certainly want to take it. Oh, he's looking on the inside through the... Yeah, he's going to lock in on that uh, back corner there for uh, Chicago Distortion. That distortion player doesn't know it, but he's in a bit of danger. There it is. He's posted waiting. Yeah. He's waiting on that fill. Oh, he came off of it. The worst timing, too, as yeah. he comes back out. Mixon's going to look cross, see if he can pick up something on the Dorito side. Chicago distortion, like most teams, is using this brick as just a, a great, great hold bunker. Oh, as we talked about yep, it, here yep. we go. Let's see. I, I don't even think he got uh, identified either, so. Nope. We'll see where he pops up. Smoke crawler, uh, smoke crawler trying to go the length of the field. He's going to stop for a second. I don't recommend stopping. Here. I think he's talking Yeah, he's talking to his teammate here. Okay. Trying to identify exactly uh, where the bodies are. but The mistake I've seen a lot of crawlers do <laughs> is they stop mid-crawl and they pop up and look for kills. And that is the wrong thing to do. You should go all the way. Go all the way to the other team's wing and, and then turn and start blowing things up. See, I think that there's a... Tiny crack there in the in the 50, or I think that uh, the distortion player may have picked up on that because he's shooting it. I think he's trying to use it as like to prevention, but he doesn't know that he's already passed. Here we go. The the, the smoke player's already crossed that. Smoke player is about five feet from glory here. Whatever happens is gonna up. Oh, immediately one. kill. He's gonna turn and blow up the brick. No. Oh. Okay. He did damage. But Don't get me wrong. It was a good move. However, oh, now there's Ooh, a lot of damage going on here. counter move by Distortion. Here's what the Smoke player did wrong. Distortion just lost one on the D side as well. So this point's, uh, this has all happening real quick right now. Very wooly. Oh, there's a move up to the D50 by Smoke. They're going to turn the field. Number four for Distortion is in a lot of trouble in his brick. This Smoke Snake player Distortion up. needs to do a lot of damage quick. Ooh. Boy, this thing is wild. Wow, this is getting... Smoke is holding down from the corner now. He filled out. Did they get the trade on that side? There you go. There's a player walking off for Smoke, so I think they did get the D50. Oh, yeah, he killed him. Yeah, Distortion's going to counter put. He has I no idea on the snake side. I believe that's the Distortion player that was in the center brick. He yeah. went all the way out to the tape. Yep. And now he's going to clean he it up. Ooh. That's an okay. interesting point. All right, just just <laughs> because it's a teaching moment. What I'm about to say, I don't want to. I, I don't want the smoke player to take as like some attack, or that he made the worst thing in the move, uh, move in the world. I'm just it's just a learning uh, moment, right? So the smoke player did a great crawl, got all the way down to the end. He paused for a second, talked to his teammate, and I'm I'm referring to the smoke player that crawled what I'm calling the passing lane, yeah, yeah. this outside lane. He did the right thing. He got all the way to that wing. He popped up, immediately blew up the uh, snake one right next to him. The problem was is what he should have done at that point is calm down a little bit and just start scanning the field looking for targets. Yeah. Instead of what he chose to do was stand up, go around the outside. And try and force and, a second. And then run, yeah, and, yeah. and basically, at, at best, you're just going to trade. Even in the point. worst case scenario, and you draw two guns on you. Yeah. You let, you, let your guys move. Dro he yeah, did a great job down. getting up there, too, unidentified. Yeah, so if you're if you listening, if you were listening to the sound of my voice and you intend to crawl the snake today, uh, by the way, great drone shot from uh, what I'm calling our drone force. The overhead drop. Yeah, this yeah. is. Oh, here we go. Leverage on the left side here and struggle on the right. All right, here we go. Game is kicking off. 0-0, zero, zero, leverage struggle. 
Leverage is favored. Leverage did have an injury in their first game. I think it was one yeah, of the Morans. They lost uh, Zach Moran. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of an existing knee issue. Uh, is that what it is? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, you know, he's a tough guy, man. He'll come back. I would have. He's probably fighting to get back on right now. Leverage is your boys? Yeah, yeah. They're all hometown guys. They're one of our, uh, what, like, they are our premier semi-pro team. Uh, so, but they are, have been around for a very long time. They're all very close friends. They've been around. Leverage for a doing a run down through that side. Doesn't they do uh, trade? It's not going to blow the game open. Caputo sitting at the snake corner there. I'm curious how they're going to fill out the snake side. And it's, there you go, Phil over to the... Oh, he might have gotten popped on the hopper. No, he's clean. And there it is. Takes there it under the goggle. Him. Leverage is going to clean this one out. This is, oh, with a good fill, but Sanborn pushing them down. There you it go. was just the wrong time to yeah, try to do yeah, that fill. Yeah, timing, man. Yeah. He, had, he didn't have a lot of options, though. No, and you know what you and I have sitting in here is we have information that they don't, they don't have. have. So exactly. when you're playing out there, you're under fire, your head's down, there's so much noise going against your bunker. So, you know, you and I can sit here and go, wow, that was just bad timing, which, you know, yeah, it oh, was. But he doesn't, but he, but he but doesn't, he doesn't know. know. Yeah, he doesn't no. know. He doesn't know that there's three three leverage players race, yeah. racing down the field. At this to level, too, a team like Struggle, who's struggles another powerhouse team, too. Yep. Man, you know, they, they make instinctual moves because they know it works. And sometimes mm -hmm. it does and sometimes it doesn't. Yep. Like you said, just uh, what we know, what we know, and... They don't. They don't even see it. So sometimes what you got to do is, if you're if you're critiquing, uh, is think about their thought process, not the outcome. Yeah. Ignore the outcome and critique the thought process. Uh, a lot of times, if you go back and look at it, the thought process was correct. Uh, the outcome didn't work out for them. Yeah, so. that's true. All right, smoke versus Chicago distortion. Smoke's on the left. They're down by one point, which is not not a big deal, quite frankly, with this much time left on the clock. They took phenomenal field control mm -hmm. early smoke. So if they, they can get that field control and just, like you said, be a little bit more patient, yep. I think they could definitely Don't uh, throw your bodies away. Back. Or it can just turn into another. Are you good? That's fine. Uh, turn into another, uh, <laughs> another car crash and everybody going at it. All right. Well, I'm done webcasting because there's a dog that's wandering oh, into the blue. Oh, it's blue. That made my day. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, can we get a mic for this dog? <laughs> All right. Another five on five, but another aggressive breakout to some extent from uh, Smoke. They do lose their Congra center tower. Congra oh. And a penalty for it. Yeah, so the Smoke is going to lose two bodies immediately, putting Chicago Distortion in a great position to win this thing. A little bit risky of Smoke trying to get to the snake corner, but it is important. Gets there alive. Let's see, this uh, Distortion player might try oh, to Oh, he the takes one right to the face. Good fill. Snake player on distortion got all the way out to the uh, the highway wedge and just wrapped on it. Smoke player in that uh, can just outside of the home. Oh, here we go. Here's a big crawl by distortion. This is almost overkill. They're in such control of this game. He's flying up it too. There's that attempt to. Yeah, yeah. they're gonna towel out of that one. So. <laughs> It's it's funny. I see, most of these games seem to end with a player trying to go sideways to fill in, you know, another, yeah. and and they just they just get blown up. I guess after a certain point, uh, forget the decision making. Just don't. Just just <laughs> dig into just your bunker. Just, just get, live live in it and God, die on it. That's ten, it. Against semi pros, t running ten yards of open space might as well be a mile. Oh yeah. Oh my God. It's just like you're trying to run in front of a machine gun nest. These these players are such good shots. You got another one here with leverage up one on struggle. They took a pretty uh, passive breakout, too, Leverage. I'm curious. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, maybe if you think that you're, and this might be arrogant, but if you think you're just better, you're going to win gunfights, you don't need to risk uh, breakouts. I'm, yeah. I'm throwing a hypothetical out there. I don't know what's in their head. Uh, th not much. They go to the bunker, and they figure out their play when they get to the bunker. I play with them. <laughs> I said, I don't know what's in their head. You responded not with not much. Not much. They're just they're <laughs> lunatics, man. Or one drop early for struggle. Yeah. And le same thing for Leverage. They're on a f uh, 44 here. Neither team really in the snake yet, and really, neither team has a great threat to get in the snake. Maybe leverage at their snake corner can dive in. I think they're mirrored right now, too. There we go. Yep, you're right. I feel like the leverage corner has a little bit better control. Oh, he stopped to reload. He gave up gun dominance. Now he's going to have to fight his way back out. That's Chris Caputo. Leverage loses Sanborn out of the tower. And, and Caputo's fighting to get back the gun dominance. He's, he has lost it on the snake. As a matter of fact, it allowed the smoke, the struggle player to bounce up here to the snake and now into the snake. But a, a whole game can just hinge on when you decide to reload. Yeah. 
Ooh, this is risky. He's oh. playing the outside. If Caputo gets a chance to look down, he's going to blow him up. And now he scampers back to safety. Yeah, they're calling a little bit of rub on his shoulder. Struggle player at the snake 50. Locking down on Caputo. Caputo's going to look to go here to fill. Oh, and it, uh, does he catch him? He yeah, does he catch him, yeah, yeah, he gets out. clipped going out. I'm not sure I love that move out anyways because he would have been put himself in a, in a tougher to live position. It, it, like, a lot of the times, I, I feel like, in at least in Northeast, I'm not sure where struggle's out of it. It's, we play force, you just force it. You gotta force it. If you down bodies, like, cross up, yes, of course, but like. Yeah, go for it. They go for it a lot. We all go for it. I don't disagree with that because frankly, I don't think teams practice anywhere near enough for down body situations. So I think I think it's actually tougher to tr try to win in a conservative manner than just going for it. Yeah. They tie it up there. Uh, struggles out of Cincinnati, Ohio, which, by okay. the way, I was born and raised in Cincinnati, Ohio. So there it is. I'm now I'm now voting for. Yeah, I'm now voting go for, for struggle. struggle. Struggles a bunch of good dudes, man. Yeah. They're they're you know there's a a really good camp as far as I know and the people I've met out of there. They're mm -hmm. all good dudes, man. So we'll shout out their roster while we got a moment. Uh, McCall Baker, Anthony Barco, Christopher Bartels, Josh Broadus, Joseph Chrisman, Adler Dotson, Nick Horn, Dylan Jones, Adam Ramser, Mark Smith, and Alex Weigand. There you go. Struggle roster. Shout them out if you know them. <laughs> Let's see. I'm curious if Smoke goes for another aggressive, but they're getting the, the map control, man, or the field control. There you go. Nice bite. Clean breakout by Clean Distortion. Breakout. They don't take any wild risks. They're up 2 nothing. There's no reason to take wild risks. Uh-oh. Smoke player getting a check in that Dorito corner. It's going to be called clean. Oof. He gets clipped out immediately after. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I cursed him. Yeah. Actually, they lost another. There's a yeah, two, two off for Smoke. Two players peeling off. Their breakouts are so clean, too. They're just, uh, I think they're just getting clipped on like the first few seconds after. And, and what's amazing about that is as the weekend goes on and these teams figure out the shooting lanes, oh, it, gets, in. it gets harder to make clean yeah, breakouts without losing bodies. On, on TV and on stream, it's it's one thing. You see it in person, it's just it's instantaneous. Yeah. You know, I would I would say we talk about pocket play. The pocket gets tighter and tighter Tight, as the yep. weekend goes along. Uh, we move go. up the middle by distortion of that brick. We got a little highway crawl, but he is in prime position to do some damage if he can get up there un unnoticed. He's got to keep that pack down, though. A little, there you go. Gets back on his belly. By the way, it is way more energy to belly crawl than it is to knee and elbow crawl. Oh, no. Oh. no. Got caught. I think well, uh, it's a trade just fell pretty wide over on the D side. He just went to the 40, I believe. So we got the D2 hot for distortion, also that middle brick. We've got the S1 and the home can. There is no single home, by the way, on this field. There's two two uh, bunkers I call home, and that's the yeah. uh, the can and that uh, mini temple. There you now go. distortion going to attempt to run, run through. Here. At best, that'll be a trade. It is a trade. Oh, there goes the flag. Oh, no. I whoa, whoa, multiple flags here. There was a red thrown, but I think it's considered a minor. I think they accidentally uh, threw a red. Question is, what was that for? I don't know if it was for pointing. If it was for pointing, then these teams need to learn. These refs are not screwing around when it comes yeah. to get up, walk off, don't point, don't talk. They did that before to one of the gestures players, yeah. correct? Yeah. yeah. Well, the refs are having a discussion. We're not privy to that discussion. Until we mic up the refs, then everything changes. Oh, that's a scary world to be They're in, in there talking about lunch right now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can be quiet and listen. Wind is destroying any chance yeah. of hearing it. <laughs> oh, I got, Nic I got Nicole with her ear pressed up against the net. Okay. All right. I have spies. I have spies <laughs> everywhere throughout this field. Our on our uh, on field reporter. Yeah. They're trying to sort it out. I, I, at this point, I don't think it is signaling or talking after the hit. Because they're trying to work out a sequence of it events. could have been that he got shot on the run through and kept going. It's very possible. You yeah. know, it's so that's it's that's what's so rough, right? Yeah. Like, you take two steps, two more. You're always trying to take one extra step to get the trade. 
And so, you know, you play, I play. Yeah, yeah. You, you you know when you're getting hit, you know when you get hit when you're stuck, when you're standing still behind a bunker. But when you're on the move, on oh the move, yeah. You can take hits that you never, never think that feel, you would notice. And you look back at you you're like, "Oh, I How did was I hit it? on the hip, yeah, but I didn't exactly, know." Exactly, man. Yeah. I, I like to say there's a di yellows are off, yellow flags are often oopsie penalties I didn't know majors pretty much if you're getting a major you knew oh you knew yeah, yeah you, you knew. knew and you're just trying to get away with it yeah okay. that, that was which one All right. that was what we thought it was it was yeah. a run through yeah distortion had a hit on his elbow. Uh, shot a player, it, even if it's an, an, an obvious you don't know about, if you shoot a player, uh, it's a major. So they're going to have to start down a body for the next point. That's rough. Now, did that result in a no point? Yeah, that's the... I, yeah. Yeah, because there was nobody left on smoke, right? And semi-pro, two point, two point leaves never enough. It's never yeah. enough. Yeah, these games go real, real fast. I'd say probably around the when you're up by three points, that's when you can start feeling somewhat yeah, safe. Yeah, yeah. Um, four points very safe, but yeah, two two is not enough. Now this is a low, little bit slower field. Just what I've watched this week, and I'm not seeing a lot of huge high scoring points. Divisional games. when you start to go down, like the D four, D three, D D five, they this is like you have a snake or Dorito player who's just a premier athlete. Yeah. You know. He just he, one body drops and the whole field will fold. From what the few I've watched, because I've been at the booth all weekend, but I watched a few where it is. This is very calm chess. You go down to those low divisions. You got somebody who knows what they're doing. Yeah, it's crazy how fast. I've watched like thirty second points, a few of them. You know, and I'm not advocating anything for an overthrow of APPA, but there are sports that they literally just have uh, uh, ruling boards that decide players levels. They don't. They don't accumulate points. They don't, yeah, yeah. They just literally watch how you play and go. Yeah, that's a like I play a lot of volleyball. Yeah, that's a C level player. That's a B level. Yeah. You can be in the middle of a tournament, and the staff comes over, taps you on your shoulder, and go. Just so you know, we've watched you today. You're you're not a C player. You're now a B player. You're going to be allowed to finish this tournament. But when you go to apply for the next one, you're not going to be allowed to play at this level. Really? So yeah, I'm not advocating for that. Matter of fact, I I know a lot of teams that complain about APPA like, oh, we're getting ranked up. It's not fair. So. I'm an old player. I played back in the day where there was no APPA, and it was really awful because what happened is every tournament you go to, there was no really good ranking system, so you knew there were two teams there that were sandbagging. Yeah. The rest of us were just showing up to donate our money to the prize pool. Oh, yeah, no yeah, chance. yeah. Get a little, get a little experience in the process. Yeah, listen, it, it's even lo the local scenes all across the country. You know, there's always the people going to do it. People come back from breaks. Mm -hmm. You know, they they – you know, oh, we'll get up one D3 body who used to be semi-pro or or pro, like, back in the day. And people, they come down, man. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm Division three now, but, you know, that's where it starts to get scary. Yeah. You know, you get some people like, oh, I haven't played in two years. Used to play pro. I'm just deranked. I'm like, Jesus Christ. So not only, you know, as you know this, not only do some of your points start peeling off uh, as you don't play, you know, you take a break. Do you are you aware of the over forty? Oh, it's the I, so discount? I have a few I have a few guys that I'm close with that are over forty, and they are. <laughs> they should. They're so good, so good. It's it's comical. They show up and they're just like, "I'm Division Four. I was like, Come "How? On. Yeah. How? So the deal is, and I there must have been a special interest group, a lobbyist that got a hold of the rules committee. I don't know what happened. I'm totally okay with it as an old one. Um, but over forty in the APPA system, uh, you get a multiplier <laughs> by each. So if you were going to be awarded eighty points or hundred points because You're of how you did five. the tournament, <laughs> maybe not that bad. <laughs> But they multiply that score by by a number that's less than one, right? So you might get uh, ninety percent yeah, of those yeah, points yeah. or eighty percent. And as you get older, that 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 multiplier slowly, gets lower and lower, lower and lower, man. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. So the old gray hairs can stay at like D four for a long, long time. And some of them, they listen, they don't lose a beat. Oh, here we go, another one with leverage and uh, and struggle here. Oh my God, I just realized how many of the dynasty players are, are over forty now. <laughs> I think I get there, was a, there was a period of time when Oliver came back and he was semi-pro. There was a That's crazy. there was there was chatter if he was going to play on a semi-pro team or guess for somebody. Bodies peeling off for struggle. That is not a good start yeah. to this match. We got Caputo, very aggressive move up. Leverage yeah, player losing a player. Uh, uh, leverage team losing a player. A third. Bodies. Wow. Good lord. Leverage just. I think that's Chris Caputo just sending it down. Struggle just got genocided off the field. <laughs> Wow. Does a little skip over the bunker. Yeah, I'd be happy with that point. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really blame him on that one. 
All right, we're going to go back to the distortion. Smoke game distortions up 3 nothing. Again, that's scary territory for Smoke. You've got eight, nearly nine minutes on the clock. That's still a lot of time, but yeah. you're, getting, you're starting to flirt with uh, mercy rule. You know, when you're down by three. It's good to see, you know, like, once again, th these teams are all top-notch. You know, distortion. Now, distortion's from the original roots of distortion, right? Yeah. It's good to see them come back and, and that, that whole camp kind of being part of it again because they were they they were winning and they won, they won semi-pro or Division Two, I believe. I couldn't tell like, you. That was a few years ago like, when I just yeah. started playing. And uh, uh, a good friend of mine who now plays uh, pro, Scott Graham, he was on that original distortion crew. And it was cool to watch, man. It's good to see them back. You know, as athletic as this sport is, it is surprising how players can play late. You know, if they take care of themselves, they can keep playing for a yeah, long, man. long time and effectively. All right. Smoke on your left, distortion on your right. Distortion with a good lead. Smoke loses their first body from the Dorito side. A quick aggression going up on the D side from the oh. oh. Smoke attempts to fill out to the snake corner. Doesn't make it three steps. There's They're going to lose their the can, can, their back that, center can. Do they have a Dorito player still? No, uh, they do have something over on the Dorito side. Not sure where. They have S1. Oh, losing the snake Good player. Good shot. Fill out wide. He's going to try and contain that snake. I, I respect the smoke player pushing forward. And if it maybe he doesn't know the numbers, but. So he's got his brick, and he's got himself in the S2. Unfortunately, they're both looking to their left to the Dorito side. If Distortion notices that, they can, they can move up yeah. to a bunch of damage. There we go. Now they're starting to switch it up. Okay. But now both smoke players are looking snake side. Switches over to the brick here. This guy's uh, has the move coming up from the 40 into the 50. And There's the going to be a run through. And they can absolutely afford to trade bodies on that. That's a fine trade for distortion. That leaves just the player left oh, alive. There he goes in the snake. Not for long. Run down. Almost happened again from the snake side. All right. Well, distortion's going to go up 4 nothing on smoke. That is desperation time for smoke. Yeah, yeah. All right. well, they're getting great. Like I said, they're getting up there. Just not able to capitalize. Let's play the webcaster's favorite game of if I was somebody important. Uh, what do you do? <laughs> what do you do if you're a coach and you're down for nothing on this layout? I don't. <laughs> you quietly I not sneak. I am not semi-pro, and I couldn't tell you what that would be. But in Division Three or Division Four, you just send it and try to throw them off and change the. Change. It's so momentum based, man. I'm gonna drop a, a, an aggressive game plan, and when I send them on the field, I'm gonna grab my keys and get to my car. Oh, I think man. that's the play as a coach. <laughs> Deal with it back at the house. <laughs> Oh, All right, man. much closer match here. Struggle leverage. What do we got on the time? Uh, Two one. We got a lot of time. Oh, Looks wow, like eleven, a eleven time. and a half. These are quick points. So you have inside medical information on leverage injuries? Yeah, I believe Zach. I believe I haven't talked to yeah, him yet. I actually came over. Uh, I believe he did hurt his knee, uh, and I'm not sure because I actually was over here to come see him before I jumped in the booth with you and. I know he was over at the medical tent with his uh, with his family. So everybody on leverage is in good spirits. Zach would be pissed if they weren't. Yeah. So uh, you know they're they're all they're all fighters, dude. Everybody on this. Field. I, I when I saw him go lame, I was kind of hoping it was just a dehydration cramp thing. Which you know dehydration cramp, if you haven't had one, is like eh, whatever, dude. <laughs> have you ever had like a major leg cramp or yeah. something? Yes. It is brutal. I don't play snake, and when I play snake, I get one every time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell my team, you get one snake play out of me an event. Yeah, if you and need it's it. done. It's done. You you do have like a punch ticket? <laughs> no, I just say I need three points of a break. I hope you guys can. Yeah. Good it. luck to everybody. <laughs> All right, struggle on our left, leverage on, the left, on our right. Leverage has a little bit of an advantage here. Yeah, there's a, i curious the breakout that leverage does. Big yep. run into the snake yep. from struggle. Same Gets for there alive. Wow, going all the way up the Dorito. No, it didn't work. He was trying to go all the way up the Dorito side for struggle. He matches him at the brick. Or struggle, jump. subscribe to your aggressive game plan. I'm into unsure S2. if I just saw that they just filled the 40 Dorito on leverage. Leverage has the inside Dorito. They've got the home can. they got the snake corner. Struggle's going to try and wrap on this. Yep, and right now they haven't picked up on his presence in the snake 50. Yeah, Struggle loses another one out of the snake corner. So this snake 50 for Struggle has to do a bunch of damage, and he has to do it quick. And oh, that's they not the way to get it done. No, he's asking for a check. I see a lot of paint on him. He's going to go for it. Yeah, he's out. 
Brick That's is going to die. Chris. Caputo caught him completely yep. unaware. And this, the final struggle player gets <laughs> The fills, man. It's the, the fills. Yeah, the fills are just not working out here. Yeah. Just it's actually every single one I've seen in the last, like, few seconds of, like, trying to make it happen. It's, it's blown up. Yeah, I feel bad. Yeah. Just sign a lease. This is your new home. Yeah, don't, yeah. Don't you live, try to you move. live in this can. Yeah. And good luck to you. Yeah, man. All right, leverage is going to go up 3-1. I think they're going to try to kill the clock. If I'm there Yeah, there you go. Struggle towels out of it. All right. All right, we're 4-0. This is, uh, like you said, what, what do we do? And the, the answer is, <laughs> I don't know enough. All right. <laughs> so here's the thing, right? Um, you are 4-0. You're one point away from Mercy. You can't have any mistakes. You can't lose one point. It, it sounds ironic to say this, but if, if you really want to go nerd on the way to do this, I think you actually play conservative. Yeah, and just hope that you get to shed a few bodies. Yeah, maybe get guns heavy on the advantage. break. You got it's you know Justin Mullins and it's momentum. A yeah, lot of this there's a lot of that. Momentum. Like, all right, coming up next, we're gonna see Preferred Mob versus Shut Up We're Driving and Ology versus. Let me go back to my sheet. Take a look at this break. Ology versus Tiki's Totem. Oh, that's a big game. Big run, big run by Distortion into the snake. Nobody's dropped for either. No, five on five. There we go, and they're match mirrored, I believe. Oh no, they did. Yeah, they are. They are match mirrored. The only different oh, smoke taking a walk. First player, so five on four, in favor of distortion. Go. Distortion can be, get his player wrapped around onto that fifty. Distortion doing a good job suppressing the snake corner yeah. for smoke. That's going to allow their S two to go ahead and wrap his gun and see if he can do some damage. Mainly needs to set up a trap here for number 76 of smoke. Yeah. Wait for a smoke player to pop out and blow him up. Distortion player has been on the snake all day. Another smoke player peeling off from the Dorito back line. Oh, there he goes. Distortion oh, yeah, player. Yeah, I didn't even notice the, the, the jump over. Yeah, jumps the beam. I think, he however, the smoke it. player is very it. suspicious. He's got to wait for the gap. Watch. The, yep. Yeah. Yeah, he sees the beam move. Wait for it. There it is. He knows. What a... Ooh, great move great by the move. smoke player. Number 76. That's like perfect patience. You yeah. could have got him earlier, but yeah. you would have extended your – perfect. He, he wanted to confirm that, in fact, that that's what was going on, and he saw a bunker move and then uh, saw that gap. If smoke can pull out that, this point, that was the critical moment. Yeah. And the, actually, the distortion's brick doesn't know where he is. He's, he was shooting uh, deep down on their side of the snake, mm -hmm. thinking he maybe jumped the beam. There's paranoia. You get yeah. burned by by one of these long snake crawls on the outside, oh, and you start the, getting yeah, real paranoid. Say, you, yeah, you don't. All you think now is, yeah. oh god, they're there. I know they're there. Yeah, I know they're there. Getting run down for uh, is one thing. Getting shot forty yards behind your own fifty yeah. is a whole different. You almost all right. Jump well, shot now wow. he just confirmed his presence. So you're going to see this brick for Chicago Station. I think he's going to have to stay prevent to prevent the wrap around. He's, he can't let the smoke player try to wrap around. What do we have? We have Distortion's Dorito Corner, Snake Corner, Brick. So they have a cross and then just a, this dude's going to hold this up. Distortion has definitely gone into clock killing mode. They're not even trying to push it. Five minutes, they're burning some time. Yep. Smoke still has one player at the Brick and this Snake. For Distortion, you've got at least three bodies left. Who's got, got the ball here for you? Uh, actually, I think it's, it's the, the Brick. brick. Yeah, I think the, the, the brick, brick has to crack open yeah. like something, right? Yeah, he has the least amount of attention in him. I don't see a third body. So we talk about run-throughs. If I'm the brick, I need to do a run-two. And what I mean by that is if you do a run-through and you take the other brick, great. But you're going to run into a gun and get yeah, blown yeah. up. And you're going to leave your buddy all alone. You need to do a run-two, which is get to that brick, shoot him, and then pull back and onto the other side of the brick and keep your body alive. Because you're, you're, you're three on two. You can't just trade. You have to yeah, kill and stay alive. Yeah, you don't want to put him in a two-on-one like, while he's in the snake. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly, Mike. It's nothing worse. Good luck. I'm leaving you in the snake yeah, all yeah, alone. Yeah. Hope your knees are okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Quick check of that brick by the refs. Here we go. Long clean. He's going to make a run through. Yeah. See, he's trying to force something there. He uh, had to. He yeah, had and to. It falls apart. He had to. Can't right. blame him on that. Well, that is going to do it for distortion. They're going to go up five nothing. Uh, mercy this out. Tough game for Smoke. Like I said, Smoke really field control and distortion just capitalized on space, yeah. and that's all it was. So Distortion is not going to go for the buzzer, but frankly, 
you know, you're not trying to preserve time at this point. Double check. Double check you're clean. Go ahead and hit the buzzer. Just try to, I think what are they, they're trying to get a little time, a little breather between the, you know, an extra four minutes. Yeah. I think most of what you're doing is helping the other two teams that are on yeah. the other side of yeah, this match. Yeah, if you like one of the other teams playing, yeah. like, we'll burn it for you. Take your time. Yeah, I think I just, I'm watching the ref have a conversation uh, with one of the distortion players. So the distortion players are putting their guns in the air, which, by the way, can be interpreted as calling yourself out. Oh, yeah. And what he's doing is asking for a check, but he's pointing his barrel straight in the air. I think the ref just said, hey, dude, don't point your gun in the yeah. air, so there's no confusion here. I don't want to have to talk to the other nine refs, <laughs> the, the other coach, and explain yeah, why explain you didn't it. call yourself out. Don't put me in that position. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me do this. All right, so that's it. They're going to walk away. Distortion's going to walk away with that one. Leverage versus Struggle. Stru Struggle still has a chance here. We got 10 oh, on the clock. Yeah. There's a lot of time, man. A ton of time. Look how many pods they're going out with, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's this, this layout, like you said, it plays slow. It plays slow in this division. Quick thank you to our sponsors. Uh, maybe I should make uh, Mike read out the sponsors. Oh, to man, you've probably done it a million times. To promote other businesses besides your own. There's, it's gone now. Okay, oh, we'll go, okay. That we'll, was about we'll, to be painful. We'll get the next one. We'll get the next one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Leverage versus struggle. Oh, false start. He's going to have to retag. He does. Leverage five alive. I think five alive for both teams. Leverage up to that snake 50 real fast. Yeah, yeah. I think Chris has got that, you know, he's just a mentality. Yeah. You know? It worked twice. Why you stop doing it? I do see one dropping off for uh, for Struggle. Nice big fill out to the Dorito corner. He gets in clean. Leverage bouncing out to that snake corner. Very important bunker. Struggle loses another. Right out of the, uh, I believe that was the Dorito Tower or the center, uh, at the center tower right in front of the home. Leverage player knows he's there. Ooh. Yeah, just waiting for him. Oh, that's rough. So Struggle that player trying to get out of that S2. Runs right in the gun. Leverage player trying to... Corner. Gone. Leverage tra player tries to go through the middle. That does not work out for him. And the stake player is gone. Just leaving Struggle's <laughs> final player on hey, the fill. Hey, we just saw a fill. That oh, yeah, he filled back. He, he filled, didn't he die. Yeah, it's, that's it's, the first fill, back fill we've seen that wasn't an I think he death. got shot, though. No, he did get shot. Damn. It's not safe. <laughs> I mean, there's nowhere safe out here, dude. <laughs> you might as well assume there's landmines behind everybody. What's bunker. crazy about this game is that it, they're minute-long points. Yeah, these are real. F they don't feel super yeah, short, but yeah. we look at the clock, and there's no time peeling off. This this one opposed to the other one seem very much like whoever's getting the, the kill out of the snake first is yeah. turning the field. Have you seen any crazy Dorito side play at all? So I don't, know, I don't know what you would define as crazy, but as the weekend has gone on and the teams are starting to figure out how to stop the snake or, or minimize the damage from it, the Dorito side has become more important uh, to, to blowing out games. So I've seen more and more games being blown up from the Dorito side. Really? Interestingly enough, the WNXL, most of the, oh my God, no, she didn't, is through the middle. Really? Yeah, a lot of middle runs for the WNXL that just would, would go through the middle and blow things up. I, just different style. All right, we're going to go to Nicole on the sideline. She's got an interview with probably one of the coaches. Thank you. All right, you guys. So I have Brian here from Distortion, who just came off a mercy rule. I know yesterday you guys lost both your matches, and today we came in guns blazing. What was the changes that were made overnight? We really didn't change much game plan wise. Um, our big meeting yesterday was just about being friends, playing together, and working together, not dropping zones. That's why we came out firing today. I like the fact that friendship was key. Okay, friendship and what's <laughs> what is what are you guys up to for the next match? What's the game plan? Same thing, or we're changing it up? Same thing. We got a really tough match. Uh, New York Wrecking Crew. They just won the last tournament. They've been together for a very long time. Um, so have we, but just on different teams. So. And what time is your next match at? I think five something, five twenty. We're the last match on Lone Wolf, so you can catch us there. All right, we'll tune in here to catch them at five p.m. Hopefully from Brian from Distortion. Thank right, you. Thank Back you. to Salby. Take care. Thanks. Friendship and teamwork, the foundation of most <laughs> successful paintball programs. I love it. <laughs> now we're in X ball. All right, here we go. Both teams going to the snake on the break. Struggle five alive. Struggle pushing all the way up in. Out to 50. Leverage with a little bit more conservative breakout. Struggle no, first, loses one. Yeah, first struggle player walking off. Caputo doing a lot of work over here on yeah, the snake side yeah. for leverage. 
They just keep rolling them out. They fill out to the snake corner on Leverage's side. They must have got the extended warranty on Caputo because they are not giving him a the break. The entire team's at the 40-yard line on Leverage. Talking about playing safe and conservative. Oh, oh great wow. shot, shot on the tank by Caputo. That's got to be frustrating for the yeah, struggle player. Yeah, he held that lane. He held it for a while, too. He was yeah. trying to be patient with it. It's frustrating as a player when you do all that work to get to a great position and then just one tiny mistake. Yeah, yeah. Or just one insane shot. It's not even a mistake. It's yeah. Just a Caputo's going to blow up this tower. Yep, oh. there it is, right in the wrist. Now he's going to look at that Dorito. Yep, Jeez. Dorito's going to yeah. die. Oof. <sighs> Trivia quiz. Mike. Okay. Why did we start calling those bunkers Doritos? It's everybody's favorite potato chip. What's that? It's everybody's favorite potato chip. Kind of close. So uh, in the 90s, well, not the 90s, in the early 2000s, right, when these airball bunker shapes started taking place, uh, Doritos introduced 3D Doritos. Oh, the puff Doritos. Yeah, and they looked, I'm telling you, one of these, uh, one of our Doritos inflated looked exactly like that snack product. Now, <laughs> it was only on the market for about a year, but by the time it came off the market, it was stuck. It was it, that we just ran with it? Yeah, we're calling, so if you're at home, go on the internet, look up 3D Doritos. And uh, you're going to see a, a snack product that's 20 years old, and that's exactly what these things look like. <laughs> the bunker, you know, man, they added so many bunkers, yeah. you know, universally over the the, the last few years. They got to bring back a car wash or some kind of snack. Dude, I'm, yeah. I, I, I didn't play during the period. I wish it did the, the actual snake. Yep. Some craziness like that. Yeah. Doritos. Um, do you remember the X's that were yeah, way yeah, back the, there? Yeah, the X's happened the year I had stopped playing. So the problem with the X's is they were so tall on a windy day, it was damn near impossible to keep them staked <laughs> in the ground. And you're just on the other side, just flying off uh, it. So eventually they came up with a half X. Remember when it just started yes, looking like an yes. arch? And that was for wind purposes, but even that was really hard <laughs> to keep staked into the ground. The giant W's. Yeah. Well, I mean, way back, okay, I'm going to do my old man, you know, me, rant. But really, really way back in the day, the early dawn of, of, uh, of inflatable bunkers, we didn't have a template. And so you go. The, every company would sponsor their own bunkers to get made, and you'd find yourself. I remember playing behind a fish, and I mean an actual fish. That like a, uh, is it standing vertically, or is it on like its laying side. on its side? So like, there's a tail side and like a head a side. A tail side and a head Jeez. side. That was by PMI with their uh, <laughs> during their heyday. Uh, JT was making JT shaped bunkers, and I mean it was the letter J and the letter T fused C along the top, fused together. Oh, standing wow. up. So you might have a cluster of JTs. You're playing. It was just a wild time back then. Um, somebody it seems like a lot more fun. <laughs> it was wild. <laughs> All right, five, one, struggle. eight on the clock, right? Struggle is in a dire situation here. Oh, oh. struggle is their snake player. Yep. And also leverage does as well. Four on four. Struggle cannot make mistakes here. I'm, I'm not sure I'd take that risk for that run out in this situation. Yeah, now it's scary. Do you try and get in there and try to turn the field? Because if you if you lose the opportunity or you get shot in the way, it's a it's a wrap. You're, yeah, you're in such a rough position here. You're running out of options. The only thing you got going for you, the clock, is not pinned you completely to the yeah, wall yet. Yeah. Oh, no, another player peeling off for struggle up the middle. That leaves three alive. Leverage is just sharks. There's blood in the water. Actually, leverage being a little bit more conservative. Yeah. They, they've stopped making their secondary bumps. They're kind of content to just dig in, which, why not? What do we got? Three on th three on four? Four on three? Uh, I think we got the, uh, for s leverage, we have the snake corner. We have that can, kind of what I would call the home can. We've got the brick up the middle, which is super strong at locking stuff down. Oh, distortion. Who was that? The star struggle just made a bump all the way to the 40. Oh, leverage player peeling off of that middle tower. Yeah, that was the Dorito player. He just wrapped on him. At least three leverage players left alive. Still, this brick is really important for locking it down. And he chooses to shoot snake side. He chooses to launch. Interesting decision. And this is Sam Chris Sanborn over here at the 40. He's going to try and shut this Dorito situation uh, he down. He can't fight out. He Don't come out and fight that. There's a gun waiting for you. Don't come out and fight that. Maybe wrap the outside of the Dorito. Sanborn having a duck down now. I wouldn't mind seeing one of the teammates in struggle go bunker him out. So another one falls off the yeah. the, the 20 on the... Oh, there oh. might be a penalty. Oh, yeah. yeah there yeah, it is. A That's penalty. a minor. Wow, that was a throw. What a throw. That, that was a by the ref. throw. <laughs> ref has a great arm. I think that just clean. Oh, they got... That's Frankie... Scary dude to be gunfighting. His pack. Yeah, he's going to catch him in the pack. Maybe not. 
The distortion, or the I keep saying distortion. Struggle yeah. over there on there the Doritos. Oh, there it goes, and there goes the bunker. All right. Well, there's a glimmer of hope. All all hope is not lost for struggle. <laughs> yeah. They're going to bring this back to two on five, assuming the the the, the flag hanger is clean, of course. Assuming they can get the bunker back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're going to charge your team for one stake. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to give you a chance. Uh, I, I know I was going to force you to read other sponsors. But hit me, hit me. Tell me what enemy state's got. Well, what not what you have left, but what you brought uh, to this trade show. Uh, so this will be our third NXL. Uh, we are a clothing streetwear brand, but we have deep roots in paintball. Mm -hmm. uh, this event, we have our limited edition CS3 smooth bodies. We have uh, three colorways, one of ten each, a purple accent, a red, and a silver pure. Uh, we've got limited edition event jerseys. We've got tech tees, clothes that we do we do all our own designs we do all our own like production so like it's all in house yep uh we have me and my partner will my partner rob yep. uh we're involved in every element from the teams to the production of it but we bring everything we brought everything out our you know our home field's probably 45 to an hour away so everybody came out and support as well you know we we've been going to nxls we did a lot of stuff over in uh in texas and we have a, a good fan base in the midwest so it was cool to see everybody out here and you know, it did well, but it's got to keep making more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you think, oh, do we make too much? And then we're like, oh, God. There's a risk here. Yeah, no, so, yeah, no yeah, risk yeah. Here. It's 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 an amazing experience. A lot of the companies are real real awesome to, to deal with in paintball that we've dealt with. You know, we have Twister and Committed, who are awesome guys. They've they been right there with us through all of the NXLs. And, you know, it's it's cool. You know, we, it's We had Anthony D'Ambrosio in the yeah, booth uh, yesterday, I believe. Yesterday or today, it's all blurring together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can only imagine. I, yesterday, yeah. I started at 8 a.m., and all of a sudden, it was 7 o'clock at night. I had no idea what was yeah. going on. Anthony was a co-worker of mine back in the day with really? uh, Boston Paintball. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, Jeez. there's a lot of Boston Paintball alumni from back in the day uh, cruising around here these days. It's interesting. It seems like, you know, with the, the newer, as, as time goes on, like, there's a newer era of, like, uh, paintball apparel and goods that are happening. A lot of that homegrown stuff, yeah. and it's really cool to see it, you know, like, to be involved in that space. You know? I, I mean, I, it's very clear over the last couple of years. Players are willing to pay a, a, in for cool apparel in this sport. Yeah. I mean, we were always willing to buy some stuff, but it seems like it's a whole different yeah, era Yeah, listen, you know, we do all the, like, leverages jerseys, you know, like, that's from scratch. We design that. You know, we we have our own team jersey. We have first degree. We do, we have some local divisional teams. We have one of our D4 teams out here. But, you know, it makes stuff that we'd want to wear. Like, yep. if we're going to wear it, other people probably wear it. And me, Rob, and Will all have such different styles and clothing that we try to, like, you know, blend it together to kind of fit into what we think would be consumable for the average mm -hmm. paintball player. But well, on top of that, average No one's consumer. listening, so who has the best style in-house? Uh, oh, it's me. It's me. <laughs> you know, and I know that Will or Rob's going to watch this later, and they're going to be like, oh. They didn't come on air. They didn't come on here. They can't defend That's it. it. And we'll quickly cut to this so they can. Yeah, there can be no response. Maybe they response. skip this part so I don't get hit. Kill the comment thread. Kill the <laughs> comment thread. Struggle on a left. They're still in a deep hole here. They need a lot of stuff to go right. Five alive in the break, although the ref's going in on that so snake corner. That's Ivan moving up to the 50 break here to try and contain that Dorito. Str Struggle's been mm -hmm. or, uh, moving up on that Dorito side pretty quick. Mm -hmm. You know, so they, they're trying to capitalize on getting there first and locking it down. Oh, Struggle, five alive. Leverage, same as well, I believe. Yep, you got uh, Caputo is here now. About to wrap the, uh, the outside highway if he can get in. We're approaching five minutes on the clock, and if you're an optimist for Struggle and you think you can win this thing, you need to start winning games in about a minute. Unfortunately, oh, losing your brick. middle brick player is not going to help. That is not great for struggle. That middle brick is so important for shutting down running lanes. Good news is one of the leverage players yep. taking a walk. Struggle fills out to the snake and the snake corner. Yep. At the same time, Caputo just fills up to the 50. I doubt, unless he hits a shot here quick. I'm. Oh, he's he's a psychopath. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's struggle into the D1. Uh. We're all in danger. Snake player's gone for struggle. Yeah. They've got some ground on the Dorito side, but Ivan, I believe, over on the, I don't know who that Caputo's is. Caputo's at risk. He's rapping. I don't know if he's aware that the snake corner is hot. Caputo's putting his life in danger. He's got to get low. Oh, he blows oh, up that wow. corner, that Dorito corner. And he gets clipped up by the Dorito. Yeah, he trades out. That's a fine trade out. When yeah, listen, that's two kills, right? Two out of that? Yep. Two for one any day. So I think we have this snake corner. I don't know if we've got anything left over on the Dorito side. Jake fills out to the corner here on the leverage side, and we'll see uh, 
see how aggressive they want to get. So if you're a re if you're a coach, I'd be yelling onto the field. Well, you can't yell on the field, but to slow down. That must leverage. have been a wild time, by the way. Yeah, leverage doesn't <laughs> need to win this. They could just like slow down, and they they threw away a body in that Dorito side. Although they do take out that struggle player, that's fine. That's, it goes back to it. Leverage is just you know blood in the water kind of mindset. Yeah, it's a momentum thing, and they know that too. They yeah, that's true. They might as well go into it. I. I don't know whether this is – I think this is Leverage's last game of the prelims. Yes, this is their last game, correct. Yeah. Okay. I believe they are 3-0 and oh right now, I believe. Well, oh, no, they're 2-1. and one. They lost their previous one. I was not here for it because well, I know Zach see. got hurt. Hard to, be, hard to believe Leverage loses a game. <laughs> uh, they played struggle. I'd have to pull up that. Uh, well, they're playing uh, struggle right now. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to pull up the record. I'm not entirely sure. In any case – I know Struggle came into the day 0-2, so their playoff hopes were, were not real good in any case. And we had Leverage also coming into the game, into the day 2-0. and So even not knowing the, the first game and not remembering it, because yeah. I'm old and I have the memory of a goldfish, <laughs> uh, Leverage is most likely going to leave this match up at least 3-1, maybe 4-0. They're fine going into the playoffs. Yeah. So, you know... I wouldn't normally think this, but if you're leveraged, maybe you worry about injuries. I mean, yeah, yeah. Listen, you know, tell you guys to slow down. I don't know how you slow them down. Yeah, but, you don't slow them down. Like yeah. I said, when they get to the box, that's when the play is decided. You know, like they're as free flowing as players as it can be. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they they have a coach, uh, Chris Fermo, who's uh, who's their coach. He used to be a player for them. Uh, he's switched and transitioned to coaching, time and time again. They go to the box. Yo, I'm gonna do this, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and and the great Chris is great. He's, he's yeah. got all the game plans down. He's got it down right. He's telling him what to do. And like you know, they, they're such individual like yeah. uh, like free thinkers when yep. it comes to playing, man. So it's funny. Somebody somebody just yells street ball. Yeah. Then, oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's all over. I, I've been there. Like yeah. I play with them locally at the field. They're they're good friends. And what originally was. A two one two breakout, you know, Frankie or Chris be like tripling the home with you. I'm like, what? What are you doing? <laughs> you know, and, and in every in every uh, <laughs> start box, somebody goes, "I'm taking the 50. Yeah, oh and you're yeah, like, what? No. They're crazy, man. All right, struggle on the right. Right, they need a little bit of a miracle here, and they need it fast. Losing a player in the snake corner is not part of the miracle plan. No, oh, another fill out to the corner, and he gets killed too. Oh. Yeah. Three on five, leverage starting to slide up in the middle. Leverage doesn't need to move up. Matter of fact, they lost their player trying to get into the snake. So four on three. Struggle. Ooh, struggle during a player getting Ooh. a look-see by the ref. He's talking he's, to another ref. That's not good. He's getting to that 40. Okay. Called clean. Struggle into the D, D2. Does leverage have they have the corner over there for the Dorito side? I'm trying to see whether or not Struggle could get up to that brick and do some damage. The D50. Yeah. They yeah. got Sa Sanborn's. I believe that's Sanborn there in the 50. He, he's gonna. Yep. There you go. There it is. Yeah. And they lost another one. Yeah. So it's just one player left alive for Struggle. With the fill. Oh, the full send. <laughs> Why not? I mean. Wow, that's a two bunker bump. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, listen, we, you know what? They said it couldn't be done. <laughs> the greatest scientists of our time. Oh uh, man. Yeah. All right, I can't blame that last player. No, no, no. Listen, the thought. What is it? The uh, the thought was there. Yeah. The thought was there, and he tried to make it happen, and he did technically. Yeah, he made it over there, yeah. and and by repositioning, maybe you catch leverage trying to go through the middle, not knowing you're there. You've seen weirder stuff happen in paintball. Yeah, there's all sorts of maybes and ifs. Struggle just ran into a buzzsaw. Uh, obviously, leverage just a damn good team. Yeah, yeah. There, like I said, it, at this division, it's it's. It's interesting, right? Like, there's there's good teams, and everybody's good in any given day, man. It's a layout-dependent thing now, too, a lot. There's, there's good teams, and then there's some really good yes, teams. Yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, I will say it is a compliment to the semi-pro division to look at certainly how, how uh, Paintball Fit's doing in the pro division. Yeah. So if you're an aspiring team in semi-pro, and you have eyes in getting that top spot and, you know, through the relegation there's process. There's room to wiggle and get in there, man. You get in the pro and you kind of have a chance. And yeah. that's a compliment, again, to the semi-pro division. These guys are really, really good. Yeah. I think, and you might have mentioned this before, the difference is just like this discipline. This The pro uh, uh, discipline is amazing. But then those players all individually have the ability to just, like you said, freestyle just on a whim and blow something up. but you know, And it's not even physicality as much anymore. Yeah. It, you, like, look at Dynasty. You know, you have obviously some people on there that are physically just key. But sure. Like, no one's doing off-break 50 dives. They're, they're 
they're calm, cool, and collected the whole time, and they still hold their own against some really athletic, you know, aggressive teams. I like to think what, what sets a team apart, well, not a team apart, but a player apart, is when their, their puzzle solving and processing power goes up a notch. So players being on the field, like, you know, your average player on a field under fire, he's just too busy focused on winning, the, losing this gunfight, right? The, the next level of player that's going, I can win or lose this gunfight. I think if I talk to my teammate over there, I can tell him to push over there, you know, and that's the kind of next level. Yeah. So, all right, we're going to go over to an interview on the sideline here. I'm not sure Nicole, who Nicole has lined up, but I'm sure it it's going to be, be a great interview. It could be anybody. Give us one second. <laughs> I'm here with Chris Caputo from Leverage. You're just coming off a win. Now you guys are officially three and one, if I'm correct, right? Yeah, we're three and one right now. I want to apologize if you guys wanted us to come the last one. It was a little hectic, okay. but uh, we had to talk a couple of things over. But yeah. we're hyped up right now. We just wanted up going three and one. We came back strong the last one, which we're happy about. Made those adjustments that we needed to make, um, like we did in the last match. So I'm happy we fixed that, and uh, we're excited for Sunday. Now, do you feel like at any point during this match, you feel like the match is going to turn against you and your opponent is probably going to take you guys out, or you felt pretty confident throughout the time? Um, that, like I said, that third match was a little wonky. We were kind of playing um, not our style of paintball. We were playing like a little setback, and uh, they did uh, have some good moves. You know, they made some good plays, so we lost the lead, unfortunately, right there. But we feel confident that if we get that, we won't lose it again. Sounds good. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Chris Caputo from Leverage, everybody. Thank oh, you. If anybody, finds, if anybody finds my snake stripe headband, I dropped it at the Lone Wolf Field, please return it. That would be awesome. I used that headband for the past five years. Thank you. Now you know. Return it. <laughs> <laughs> well, scavengers, you heard that first. There's a snake stripe headband. That's the worst somewhere. way to handle that, by the way, Chris. Like, that's gone, dude. Hidden <laughs> somewhere on the property. Bro, it's, that's the worst way to handle That's gone. Now. I demand the internet, please. Please give us hostage photos of it as soon as possible. I want reward posters, you name it. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. It has been great having hey, you. Thank we'll you so much for one. having me. Good Absolute luck with your blast. weekend. Thank you, brother. We'll be right back. <laughs>